Apex Defiant. Is this game the COD killer? No, COD's doing that all on its own. Does it have features that COD players have been begging for for the last few years? You bet your sweet bippy it does. And does COD desperately need the competition? You're darn tootin'. So today we're gonna be hopping into X Defiant and seeing what all the hype's about. And just to start, we're gonna hop right into a game so you guys can see some gameplay of it. But here are the modes that you can play. We have Escort, which is basically like the Overwatch type mode where you're moving a, a payload down the map. You're either attacking or defending it. There's Zone Control, which is kind of like control from like Modern Warfare Ranked. But instead of different lives, there's different control points. And if they take it, you lose those points and you have to retreat back to other ones. There's Domination. We all know what Domination is if you've been playing COD. And then there's Occupy, which is basically hard point. So we'll just start with Domination. All right, looks like our first game here is on Echelon HQ. This is one of the 14 maps that are in the game. And in this game, instead of perks, we have different factions where you have all different kinds of abilities, utilities, and there's also ultimates. To start us off, we'll just be using Echelon in the digital ghillie suit. And for our weapons, we have like ARs, SMGs, you know, LMGs, shotguns, snipers, all that good stuff. But we'll just go with the M4 to start us out. And for this class, the ability, you get like an active camo, kind of like in Halo. You go kind of invisible. You can still spot it. Like I just saw somebody run by with it. Oh, where are you running to? Okay. That's where you're going. But it does help if you're going for like flanks and things like that. I am almost positive you can still hear footsteps though. So if you got your headset cranked, I'm, I'm sure that won't be a problem. But it's still fun. It's a nice little ability. So all these classes have two, two different abilities that you can choose from and different passives and ultimates. So like for this class, it, the, the passive for this is basically that I have the ghost perk where I don't show up on the mini map. But we'll go over all the different classes and factions and all that as we go on. But you also might have noticed this game's got red dots on the mini map, so you can actually find people. And it's a lot faster paced than Modern Warfare is. You can actually play some rushdown play styles and not be punished for it. Now, will I be taking advantage of it? Probably not, because I don't really know the movement in this game yet. But we're going to try. Oof, that was the worst nade I probably could have thrown. And outside of the M4, they got different ARs like the AK, and I even think the ACR that you can get through a challenge, but let's go ahead and try a different weapon. We'll try the SMGs out. We'll use the MP5. Now, from what I've seen in this game, from the little bit I've played, the SMGs kind of just go dummy. They got like a crazy fast time to kill, and I, they've been like dominating this game, at least from what I've seen. At least not in my hands. Where'd you go? Ooh, that's where you went. Instead of having a lethal and a tactical, you just have your ability in one of your slots and then the other one you can replace with any kind of grenade. So for this class, I got the, the flashbang instead of just a normal nade. And uh, I'm still getting destroyed because that dude just hit a ring of fire on me. Oh, and another thing, you can slide and shoot at the same time, which isn't even feasible in Modern Warfare 2. Ooh, we got our alt. Let's go ahead and hit our little active camo. Pop our alt. Oh, there we go. So for our alt, we basically get wall hacks and a one hit kill pistol as long as we're close up. Ooh. We peek me. Come back here. Ooh. This is why this is one of my favorite characters. The, the alt's so busted. On top of just going invisible. It's just so much fun. But now we'll try out a, a little sniping. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really like the sniping too much in this. Maybe it's just the sniper that I have because I'm not a very high level to have all the weapons unlocked yet. But this sniper only seems to really kill uh, if you're hitting headshots with it, which I do not hit very often. Ooh, never mind. I take it all back. I'm the greatest. Ooh. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm crazy with it. Oh, repeat. Come on. Oh, he did. And I didn't take the shot. I wasn't ready. I talked big game, but I cannot put my money where my mouth is. Ooh, did we win? What happened? No, we lost. We, were, we weren't doing too bad, though. Oh, I was the player of the game. I'm nasty. And we went 22 and 13. Slight work. All right, now that we've played a game, let me go ahead and show you everything here on the menus, like the gunsmith and all the factions and all that. So the weapon I've used the most has been the M4. So I have some attachments on here that I can show you. The gunsmith is pretty standard. You know, you can just pick like whatever muzzle you have, whatever barrel. But for this, the barrels don't really seem to change very much. You just kind of get perks for them. So instead of like having a different barrel, barrel name and then the different attributes it literally just says like this one is for you know weapon stealth and ads speed and then you have all the underbarrel grips and everything it's pretty standard pretty similar to cod different stocks you know 
all, all the same stuff, but it does have skins. I think I got this just from playing. Uh, you can get certain rewards from playing the beta, and I think you get them in the full game when that comes out. And I just want to point out, I am not sponsored. I'm really just playing it because I think COD needs some competition. But there are skins and there are mastery camos. There's bronze, silver, and gold. But my only gripe with this is that you get these camos from just leveling the weapon up. So I'm only level five right now. Uh, on my M4, I'm a level seven total, like player level. And getting this thing all the way up to level 300 just seems like a time sink. I'd rather do challenges, you know, something skill-based. Because I, I feel like games nowadays kind of get, you know, put X amount of time into something mixed up with being difficult to do. So I'd like to see that changed in the full game. But I don't even think you can unlock any of these in the beta anyway. So maybe they will change it. And if they do, I would love to grind some camos on here. But let's go through all the weapons in the game, at least in the beta here. We have the M4, the AK, the M16, and the ACR. Are. For our SMGs, we have the Vector, the MP5, the P90, and the MP7 actual weapon names in here uh the m870 for our shotguns double barrel in the aa12 the lmgs we have the m249 the rpk the m60 marks rifles got the mk20 ssr and the svd and for the snipers we only have two which is the m44 and the tac 50 oh wait we're not done yet i forgot about the pistols we have the magnum the m9 the m1911 the d50 which is just a deagle and the 93r which is like the diamatis and then for our nades there's the the normal nade the sticky nade the prox mine the flashbang and the emp and there's also challenges you can do to unlock different things so if you want to get the acr you need to get 25 long shots so i'll be i'll be working towards that sometime but i don't know if we'll get all of our long shots today now we have four different factions here these all have their own different skills and things we'll go over them real quick so for this one we have the purifier for the ultra which is just the alt uh, you get a flamethrower and then you can choose between these two activated abilities you can get an incinerator drone which kind of just goes in a straightforward path with a flamethrower going and then the firebomb we got hit with that earlier just a ring of fire goes around you and basically kills whoever's near you pretty cool and then it's passive is all your rounds are incendiary bullets so it's not just dragon's breath attachment on weapons you get that on everything just by playing this character. And this faction is more of a defensive faction. You got that Aegis. I'm definitely saying that wrong. But uh, you get a, a plasma shield around you. I, I, I've seen it used a few times. It looks pretty cool. But that is the ult. Uh, you get a barrier that you can put down. I'm pretty sure you can shoot through it, but they can't shoot back at you. Uh, it, it's like a, basically a one way, but it can break after a certain amount of time. You have the blitz shield, which is like a riot shield. And you can actually hit people with it. And then for your passive with this character, you just have more health. And then for this faction, it's all about healing. So it's basically... If you like to use stims, this is probably the class that you want. And for the ultimate, you get a large health and healing boost for a limited time. And for the bio vita boost, this is basically like the stim where you get like a, a little health gain, but it does heal your allies if they're nearby. And same with the L Remedio, whatever. You just throw down a gas container that heals friendlies until it's destroyed or canceled. And then they did have a passive. I'm pretty sure it was like faster healing or something like that, but it got removed because everybody's running this character right now. So they're already tweaking some things that aren't balanced. And this is the faction that I was using. You got the sonar goggles which you saw where you can see basically everything and then you get a pistol that one shot kills and then you got the digital ghillie suit you guys saw basically active camo from halo really cool the other thing that you can have is the intel suit which is basically like a portable radar attached to you so it's basically a uav that goes off and then for your passive you do not show up on the mini map regardless of any actions you perform so it's basically like full-time ghost oh also another thing it actually has map voting so this one doesn't really have a picture for it yet but this is something i've been missing from cod instead of just queuing in and lobby shopping but it looks like arena is gonna win this vote so you know what i'll throw my my vote in the ring and this ui is just so much easier to traverse it's not all based off of like a mobile game but i guess we're just gonna go down the list of factions we'll try this one out with the firebomb and you know just since we have the incendiary damage we'll, we'll use the shotguns i'll be that guy for a bit but i'm pretty sure this game is being led by mark rubin uh i could be wrong could be spreading some misinformation on the internet but i'm pretty sure he used to be a dev for infinity ward so he's worked on games like this before and been successful. And even if you think this is just a COD clone that's going to die out like uh, COD's version of Splitgate, I, I think COD fans should like to see games like this coming out. COD definitely needs more competition. That way they can kind of get a little uh, kick in the ass and start working on things people want to see instead of just working towards what makes money. But if this game is successful, not only like in the player's eyes in terms of like popularity, but if it's successful financially, Maybe COD will actually start listening to the community. At, at least maybe it'll make Infinity Ward. Because I know Treyarch will be listening. So far, I'm not the biggest fan of these shotguns. Which is probably a good thing. Because especially with a class that just has incendiary rounds on every single weapon. These shotguns could get annoying pretty quick. I'm getting walloped. We're, we're finally picking up a kill here. Maybe two. Go ahead and peek out. 
Oh, yep, there it is. So that's their ult. They just doubled their health immediately upon getting shot like once. That's why I see everybody running that class. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm done with the shotguns. Uh, maybe we, we go with the LMG. There we go. Quick kill. Quick double. Oh, I accidentally used my, my flame thing. Why don't I just... Okay, I'm fumbling on my keys. Could have probably had a few more kills there. Oh, there's that shield. Yeah, you can shoot through it. At least they can. Why am I reloading? I have 69 bullets. Oh, there's reload canceling? Imagine that. Oh, and you can really toss those prox mines too. Actual frisbees. Look at this. Bam. I'm kind of getting stomped over here. Let's try to fight our way back. I, I really hope this game doesn't have as aggressive of SBMM. Because that could just be a huge W on its own. Like, yeah, here's this game. And no, there's no lobby disbanding. And no, we don't have SBMM. Those would be huge selling points. We have our alt. I'm just waiting for the perfect time to use it. Oh, why am I reloading again? Glad I can cancel it. Because I have such a disease with COD reloading. Every time I get a kill, I just want to immediately, like, empty my mag and put a new one in. So having the ability to, to cancel a reload is huge for me. Okay, let's test out this flamethrower. Okay, and we immediately get taken out. Damn, I'm sure that would have been way better if anyone else was using it. Hold on, let me try to get it again. Let's actually try to use our firebomb. From my understanding of it, at least from like the image you get when you're looking at all the faction stuff, is that you just throw a Molotov right on the ground. And you're like already in a flame proof suit. I wonder if other people using the flame faction can deal like fire damage to you. Or it's just like your own fire damage you're immune from. That'd be interesting to see. Hit him with the molly. Got one. Let's throw down a prox mine. Go ahead and push that. I dare you. Ooh, immediately hit somebody. Oh, damn. They're relentless. All right, let, let's change our weapon up again. Let's try out the marksman rifle. I haven't used that yet. Oh, my Atlanta. Hit a shot challenge. Ooh, finally got a kill with this marksman rifle. Ooh, two of them? And that's about it. But I think I've had enough of the marksman rifle. I want to go ahead and try out the AK. I haven't used that yet. We'll see how this does. Oh, we have our alt again. I want to wait for the perfect opportunity to use it. I don't want to waste it again. Oh, here we go. Let's try this. Oh, that's at least a kill without dying. That's two of them. And there we go. Okay. All right. We, we got it. We got a fair shake at it. That was pretty good. Now let's go ahead and try the, the Phantom Soldier. Oh, I never tried the Incinerator Drone. Hold on. We'll, we'll give this drone a quick test. Then we'll move on to a different faction. Here. Eat that. <laughs> it, he just walked away from it. I had no idea he was even there. It just does a, a quick little line of fire. That could be good for like controlling certain points. Oh, also you can't even prone in this game, which I kind of like. I would much rather not have a prone than be drop shotted all the time. Because honestly, I feel like it becomes a crutch for a lot of players and it just develops bad aim habits if you're just constantly going to aim low. Not that I know shit about aiming. All right, we don't have much time left in this game, but that drone's really not doing a whole lot for us. We'll try out uh, this little barrier. Oh, come on. I'm having trouble getting like multiple kills like near each other. Like, my my, tra my spray transferring isn't there. Let's throw up a shield here and immediately die. Oh, the game is about to end. All right, we'll, we'll give this a better test in our, our next game. Ooh, Liberty Island? Oh, this is kind of crazy. This is a cool location. Well, let's try out these defensive guys. I'll start with the Blitz Shield, and I'll try out the Vector. Yeah, this map actually looks really good visually. I don't know how it plays yet. Ooh, you can't turn invisible on me. I see everything. Now, I really want to try to get a kill with this riot shield, but I don't know if I will all be able to. It only lasts for like a certain amount of time. Ooh, a quick double. And a triple. Let's bring out the shield. Where's somebody I can bash with this? Oh, right here. Night, night. <laughs> it is very slow though. Probably not my, my favorite thing to use, but you can block some bullets with it. Oh, you want to come down here? Is this a two-shot kill? The first guy we killed was one shot, but they might have been weak. At least it's not a three-shot. Still don't know why they nerfed the, the riot shield in Modern Warfare. But I think I've seen enough of the riot shield. We'll try out the, the barrier. Yeah, she got fucked up. No head. No hip. Go on. Here. Let me make it better. Now let's trust out this. Oh, you can just shoot it down. I thought it would follow. Maybe that's the ult. Oh, but we can shoot through it. That is sweet. Oh, and there's a certain dur durability that showed up. And it's on a little timer. Ooh, ooh, I am so low. Come on, health regen, take it away. Man, that takes a bit. No wonder everybody's running the, the health character. Ooh, 
Nice little double. Could have been a triple. But we had a little teammate support. Oh, the vector is nasty. I like this. Insane barrier by me. Don't need it. Oh, we probably needed it. That was a fast weapon swap, too. I thought I did that on accident. But I ran out of ammo and he immediately swapped instead of just sitting there hitting the, the trigger with an empty mag. Oh, damn. Walked right into his ult. This is definitely not my favorite class, and I've used this class probably the least amount. But it's not bad. I feel like I'm benefiting from the extra health, especially with the one health that I have left. You know that, or I'm just really enjoying the vector. Vector's fun. You're not sneaky. Stop that. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> that was the slowest 360 ever. I'm, I'm glad they're as dumb as me and I could actually get that kill. But now we have our ult. Just gotta find a good situation to use it in. Ooh. Okay, let's use it right here. Oh. Oh, that's cool, actually. Oh. <laughs> and I killed somebody else using it? This is sweet. I get a little shield and a thunder gun. This game is pretty cool. I definitely like the, the pacing of it, too. I don't have to play, like, super tactical anymore. Or at least try to force myself to play super tactical. Because I, I don't be playing tactical at all on COD. I just run. And in this game, you can get away with running a little bit. Okay, that's the game. Somebody's running into space. Stairway to heaven. See you later. I didn't say this game was perfect. Okay. This map's named Dumbo. Wild ass name. Crazy art though. That's insane. And I think we saved the best for last because now we get to use the healing class. Bars actually. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the, the remedy because I'm pretty sure the boost is the best one. Okay, so it's like snowy New York. A lot of this takes place in New York I'm, I'm starting to see. Look at all this art. This is wild. Oof. Oh no, there's somebody up top too. Gotta stay near the heels. Perfect. Oh. No wonder people use this character. Okay, never mind. I wonder if it heals enemies if they're near it. Like if it's a, a catch-all. If somebody's near that spray, they're getting healed. One thing that I think this game needs though is kill cams. Because sometimes I be getting lasered and I want to see by what. And I want to see how. I want to see how the sausage is made. Ooh, ooh. Eat that. Oh, the heals are crazy. Oh, you have no health. Come on. Just die. Go ahead. Die for me. Thank you. Oh, and then I'll, I'll take one next. Let's try out the, the boost. Oh, and we have our ult. First, since we're low health, we'll hit our E. Okay, we get to 120 health. Not only does it completely restore it, but we get a little extra. It seems like the extra was only for a limited time, though. So next time I'm in a situation where I'm low health, I'm hitting my ult. So I'm pretty sure it'll give us 200 health. Ooh, okay, let's do it. We're at 20. And now what? Okay, I'm dead. I don't understand what happened. I, like, pulled a parachute cord. Was it only in the area that I was standing? I'm so confused. We're gonna have to use it again. Ooh. That stim is crazy. Get back over here. Oof, barely got that. It is a really long cooldown time, though, on that stim. Yeah, but at least you get it back. Okay, this game's about to end, but I'm gonna play a quick another one just to see what uh this alt does. Oh, and would you look at that? Player of the game. Who else? A little 20 and 12. All right, final game. Let's try to actually see what this alt does, and we'll get a little sniping in in the process. Ooh, yikes. You get punished hard for missing a shot. Ooh, what? Only 70? Okay, I guess I'll, I'll melee to finish it off. Ooh, sit down. And there, of course there's another one. They can't let me have fun. Let me live my life. Oh, what? Ooh, the double no scope is not working. It seems like you get the ult for this character way faster than others. I'm already at 20% and I only have two kills. Damn, I actually cannot hit a shot. Oh, sniping might have been a mistake. I'm doing nothing with it. Oh, there we go. Finally hit something. Oh, and another one. Right when I was feeling like I'm going to give up on sniping, they pull me back in. Ooh, dick shot. Oh, come on. Let me get the no scope, please. They just gave me an all out assault. Sit down. 
What the hell is that? Why could I see him? Is that my team's like sonar? I guess I'll take it. Okay, I take back what I said about sniping though. It, it's really fun once you start to get the hang of it. I'm just such an inconsistent player that sometimes I'd be hitting shots and other times I'd whiff everything. Okay, we finally have our ult. I want to see what this does because I definitely read what it did. But I didn't retain any of the information. I have no reading comprehension. Ooh, nasty. Okay, so it is the sonar. Because whoever our teammate is that's, that's using the sonar, the second they popped it, I saw him. Okay, let's use our ult. What does this do? Oh, now I have 200 health. I just had to stay in there for a second. And it's already gone. Do I have to stay in the mist? Oh, so I put the mist down here. Okay, so it doesn't follow me like I thought. That makes sense. And now that I know how that works, I'm switching back to my main. I want to go invisible. Actually, instead of going invisible, I want the intel. That shit look crazy. Just like wall hacks. Let's try the radar. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Can't hit a no scope, though. Even knowing that he's there, I still be whiffing. Sit. No, what? How? I didn't even think he saw me. Did the flame just take up the room? I was about to make a play there. Oh, and that's game. I was doing pretty decent though with the sniper. That was fun. An unfortunate L. And we weren't even the top player. Not a bad KD though. But that's X Defiant. Uh, I personally think the game is pretty fun. And I really hope it succeeds. I think COD really needs a competitor. Uh, this game is not without its quirks though. There are some bugs, uh, specifically like server issues. Sometimes it takes a while to even find a game or get into the game. You get a lot of errors. But it seems like that kind of stuff can be ironed out. But it seems like this game aims to fill the void of like what COD players actually want. And it seems like they're listening, at least for now. So I hope that they take the feedback from the community and everything and actually like build this into a, a game that we can all come to enjoy and if not you know it was worth a try but uh let me know if you want to see me play some more of this unlock some of the other weapons you know work towards some attachments you know see what's going on with all that and if you'll be playing it it is in beta you can get codes from like watching it on i think twitch or uh just random codes drop all the time on twitter that's where i got mine but i had fun with it and uh i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later